Groups, uh, so excited to be with you today. Uh, my name is Matt Kuhn, I'm the Groups Pastor here at the Foundry. And I missed you last week, but I promise I have a good excuse for why uh, I wasn't with you. Um, we had our first baby. We had a baby girl. Her name's McKenna Joel. Um, and Jalen, my wife, and McKenna are doing fantastic. They are loving life. We're enjoying every minute of it. Um, I'm sleeping great, if you were wondering that. My wife is not sleeping great great, but I'm on a different floor, sleeping about seven to eight hours a day. So we'll keep that in between us for now. Don't tell anyone else that. But hey, uh, we are loving life. And I even start to look at groups questions a little bit differently. And really, I want to really encourage you guys to continue doing these as a family. Um, Because now that I have a child of my own, I want to be able to raise her in a way where she sees me, she sees my wife, um, spending time just really wrestling with what God wants out of our life and what Jesus can do and how we can benefit the community um, by just really being engaged with the scripture. So I'm so excited um, and just look at it in a new way. So thank you for staying engaged. Let's jump right into questions. Uh, But before we get into questions, I want you guys to read together um, from Matthew 25. Um, There's a great story in there. And once you're done reading that, unpause this and we'll start questions. Question number one, I want you to compare the responses of the master when he had asked the servants what they had done with their bags of gold. What were, what were their responses? Question number two, reread verses 24 and 25. Specifically, what stands out to you out of those verses? Question number three, have you had ever had anyone who was an authority over you, maybe it was a boss, that was always watching over you, almost just waiting for you to screw something out, up so they could get you in trouble? Um, describe what one of those moments may have looked like for you. When you have an authority figure who gets easily angered, it sometimes can be hard to take new risks to try new things because you're worried about what they're going to say if you screw those things up. Here's the question. Have you ever felt like the way the third servant viewed his master is the way you view God? Question number five, are there any characteristics of God that would stop you from telling a friend or a coworker to come and see? Last week, Eric spoke on the message of Lazarus and the story of what that looks like. And uh, we talked about Mary and Martha and how they went and told Jesus to come and see their hardships they were dealing with. They were dealing with the death of their brother and they asked Jesus to come and see what that was like. Has there ever been a time where you avoided telling God to come and see what you're struggling with because you were worried he may be angry with what you're doing? Talk about a moment like that. Here's the last question, and I want you guys to really wrestle with these answers as a group together to maybe come up with something that um, you're ready to share outside of this safe room that you're in together. What would your response be to someone who asks, I don't go to church because God is an angry or a hard God. Talk about that as a group. What would you respond? How would you respond to a person who's saying those things?
Alrighty, groups, thanks for tuning in today. I'm so excited uh, that you're just able to meet and have conversations about this. But if you guys have extra time, there is a Digging Deeper section that we would love for you to engage with if you want to continue having conversations about what we were just talking about, if you want to take that next step. So feel free to dive into that. If you don't have time, just continue to engage in one another and just live life together. Um, I hope you guys have a great week, and we will see you all soon. <laughs>